Hi everyone, it's Lucy Clark from Mind Food. What a gorgeous day it is. Um, and here I am talking to you all again about food that's good for your mood. Now we covered this a few weeks ago, uh, but I realized that I've given you so much stuff to take in. I thought it might be worth just going over some of the, the basics again. And if you can remember everything that I said from last time round, then uh, switch off. Don't waste time watching me. Uh, grab the gift of time and follow our mindful eating exercise that I'm going to post or, or post after this. Um, so yeah, so basically uh, we're going to be talking about how you can uh, feed yourself in a way that really nourishes your brain, and uh, that's really about mindful eating. So we're not judgy or prescriptive about um, uh, you know what you should eat. Uh, what we're saying is it's, it's important to uh, notice the food that you're eating, notice what it's giving you, uh, working out whether it makes it, you feel better or worse. Um, it's about knowing what it brings to the party and whether or not you uh, choose to do anything with the information is entirely up to, to you. Uh, but yes, just eat mindfully. Um, and so, you know, on that front, uh, if you're watching us with a cup of coffee in one hand and a big old cookie in the other hand, then um, good for you. <laughs> uh, we're very much about uh, a little of what you fancy doing you good, so you won't find any admonishment here. <laughs> um, so yes, we're all about finding a balance that's right for you. So, um, so what we want to do is have a little look at the building blocks of the brain to make sure that you're able to uh, give your brain exactly what it needs. So the number one ingredient in your brain is actually water. Um, so really that's a big clue as to how much, um, uh, how important it is to stay hydrated. Now the guidelines are around two liters of water a day, which I'd say does feel like a lot, particularly if you're not a, a natural uh, water drinker. Um, and sometimes it can be an idea just to have a bottle of water on the go so that you keep on reminding yourself uh, to, um, to hydrate through the day. Um, and um, and the other thing is that uh, it's worth being mindful about uh, what activities and foods are potentially dehydrating you. So it might be that some days you'll need much more because you've been on a run, uh, or it might be that uh, you need to take on some extra water because you've been eating lots of salty food. Um, so yes, yeah, so hydration is absolutely key. The second uh, biggest ingredient is fat. And that's not any old fats, that's certainly not saturated fats, which are the baddies, it's all about good fats. So that's about omega-3, uh, and omega-3 can be found in uh, oily fish, uh, but if you're a vegetarian, you can find it in uh, oils, um, vegetable oils like rapeseed, uh, avocado, um, you can find it in nuts and seeds. And then the great news story is that um, dark green vegetables are also good sources of omega-3, which I wouldn't necessarily have expected. Um, so do eat your greens, your kale, your chard, uh, and even your sprouts. They're particularly rich in omega-3, um, but we won't have to worry about those for a few months, I don't think. Um, the third um, building block uh, for your brain is um, protein. And the proteins that you can get uh, from non-meat sources uh, would be uh, pulses, peas, beans, tofu, um, and if you are eating meat then obviously lean meat is the one to go for uh, and oily fish is, a, is, a, is another great source. And these are all giving you um, uh, essential amino acids, so really um, the building blocks for proteins. The next thing that you need to have a think about is antioxidants. So this fits into the whole camp of uh, micronutrients, so that's vitamins and minerals. And um, antioxidants are particularly key because they do a kind of mopping up job of something that's called oxidative stress. So that's the byproduct of all of that busy thinking. So they come and do a massive tidy up job. Um, and the easiest way to get loads of antioxidants on board is to eat a rainbow of veg, so lots of different colours of veg, because that way you don't need to worry about the ins and outs of what's in every single um, vegetable that you're eating. You just know that you're getting a nice broad kind of uh, selection and you're covering all bases. And the next thing is 
um, that your brain is your number one calorie burner. So any calories that come from food, they necessarily go to your head first. So that's quite an interesting thing because it, it, it gives an indication of um, how important that is to deciding how fast you're running your motor. <laughs> um, so if you're having lots of sugary foods, oh, that's going straight to your head and that will really get you buzzing up there. Um, carbs are obviously a quite a contentious thing and we're not, as I said, we're not very prescriptive here. Um, but what we do think it's important to think about is about whether you're eating fast or slow carbs. So fast carbs would be the sugars that go straight to your head and the slow carbs will be the slow releasing ones, ones with what's known as a low glycemic index, so uh, uh, yeah, slow, slow carbs. Um, and they can um, pace the release of sugar so that you don't get this massive high and then a slump straight after. And there are other um, groups of um, uh, foods, drinks uh, that fit into a similar camp. So um, caffeine, obviously massive stimulant, definitely get a slump afterwards. And also alcohol. So alcohol is an incredibly fast sugar and is well known for having a, a depressive aftermath so just be super careful there now all of that that's just about your first brain we've actually um, moved on in leaps and bounds science wise uh, recently in terms of understanding that um, you have a second brain and your second brain is your gut uh, and that's um, super important because most of your um, serotonin is actually made in your gut and goes up to your brain so if your gut's feeling happy then you'll feel happy uh, and they've only just discovered that it works that way around and not from the brain down to the to the gut so um, I guess the key things there are um, getting a good balance of food um, will keep your gut happy um, if you have an intolerance or you're very stressed and anxious the whole time the chances are uh, that you've upset the balance um, and that's worth investigating or getting a professional to look at. There's really no point in tinkering around the edges of food intolerances or um, uh, bacteria imbalances. Really get some professional advice on that. Uh, and in the meantime, uh, it's worth just getting um, as much good bacteria on board as, as you can. So good bacteria comes from um, yeah, a balanced diet. So um, it also comes from uh, well, yes, yeah, so basically if you're getting lots of proteins from pulses and you're getting lots of um, uh, uh, goodness from vegetables and all that fibre, that will all be doing your gut a lot of good. And if you want to really power boost your gut bacteria, you can um, uh, eat things like uh, yoghurt and kefir, you can go for uh, live vinegars uh, that will give you some good... Um, uh, sort of fermented uh, bacteria, <laughs> sounds hideous doesn't it? And um, what else have we got on, on the bacteria front? Um, and obviously there are lots of um, probiotic uh, drinks and things like that but, uh, but really you should get all of that just from a balanced diet um, and I think it's worth having a think about those happy bacteria and keeping them happy because you've actually got more bacteria in your gut than human cells in your whole body so uh, that is to say um, yeah you're more bacteria than human really so just <laughs> keep those those fellas happy um so that's just tons to take on but i hope you enjoyed it uh yeah i'm sure i'll come back in a few weeks time to remind you all of that again um but uh yeah if you enjoyed it uh please like or love uh this video if you could follow us wherever you find us if you could share it with anyone you feel could benefit and we'll see you next week thanks a lot bye